Mania, the number one free slot team. The variety of over 170 unique free to play slots. Hallelujah, family. God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It is always a privilege. Each time I am, um, um, God lays a prophetic word in my heart because I know that it is a word in season for someone. If this is the first time you are seeing me, the first time you are coming across my channel, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please do not just go kindly subscribe if you are yet to do that already. I always say it's not a coincidence that you got here. God is sending you here for a reason. Probably he wants me to pray for you or he wants to pass the message across through me. And it is my prayer that you're going to stick around long enough to know what God has for you through me. Hallelujah. God bless you mightily. Amen. Before I release this prophetic word, I'd like us to pray. Father, we thank you for, the, for your word that is about to come forth. I pray, oh God, that it will fall on a fertile heart. Someone who needs to hear this is going to get this word. And it's going to bear fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, family. Now, one thing I got to realize is that God does not waste. God is not a waster. He will not waste blessings. He will not waste anything that God does with you or to you is strategic. He will not waste it. God will always use you to set as an example of the possibilities and the dimensions that, that are in God. So God is not going to um, give you a kingdom's power just because, you know, you are asking for a kingdom's power. No, he's always going to do that to fulfill a specific agenda. Everyone is called to do something specific and God is going to bless you with that thing with that specificity in mind and so whenever you feel blessed in a particular area whenever you feel blessed in a particular aspect be mindful that god is not just doing that for nothing there should be a reason and when you start thinking like that you are going to maximize the blessings of god you are going to you know make good use of the blessing that god has given you hallelujah and so you know how did this prophetic word come into my spirit i was just studying the bible and i stumbled upon um, the conversation that happened between mordecai and esther of course through esther's servant like we already know herman had made a plot to destroy the jew and mordecai got wing of it and he came to the palace to tell queen esther about it and when he told Queen Esther, she made an excuse. She made an excuse. She said, it is not possible for me to see the king right now. Anyone that goes to see the king when the king has not given permission might die. He might, he might you know, order for their execution. And Mordecai said something. I'd like us to read it. That is Esther chapter 4. And let me read from verse 12. It says, so they told Mordecai what Esther had said. Then Mordecai told them to reply to Esther, Do not imagine that you are in the king's palace can escape any more than all the Jews. For if you remain silent at this time, liberation and rescue will arise for the Jew from another place. And you and your father's house will perish since you did not help when you had the chance. And, no, and who knows whether you have attained royalty for such a time as this, for this very purpose. Who knows whether God kept you in that palace for this purpose? Like I said, God will not just make things happen by chance. God had foresaw, God foresaw a day that is coming, that the Jews were going to be to go extinct, they were going to be killed, if Esther was not queen. And so God strategically positioned her like we know it was favor that made Esther queen. So God strategically positioned her and made her to have favor because he knew that a day would come as this and she would have to speak for her people. Mordecai had to remind Esther, you are not at the king's palace because uh, you, you, you are not there to eat and drink. You are there for your people. And if you do not do it, God will raise someone else. 
every assignment that God has given you, every blessing that God blesses you is for something specific. But if you do not use that, if you arbitrate the blessing, if you use it for something else, God is going to raise another person in your stead. God will raise someone else to do that which you were supposed to do. And you are going to go esteem. If we have the mindset that whatever God gives us is not for us to bluff, it's not for us to show up, but it's for us to fulfill a particular assignment, we are going to treat the blessings of God differently. We are going to handle it differently. We are going to value it and we will stop thinking more about ourselves and more of the vision. God will not bless you just because of you. God will bless you for an agenda, for a purpose, for something that is supposed to be done. And just to prove to us that this was the case of Esther, he eventual, she eventually was able to rescue the Jew. It means that God had embedded in her the solution. God had embedded in her the solution for this. So do not be scared and you tell yourself, am I going, am, 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 what if in trying to fulfill the purpose of God, I die? What if in try, what if in try to, to, to make this thing happen, something happens to me? Apostle Paul speaking, he says, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. The purpose of God for your life is going to preserve you. When you are in your purpose, God is going to preserve you. Probably the reason why that blessing is still delaying is because you have not positioned your mind. You are still thinking that that blessing is for you. One thing I got to realize is that it doesn't matter how minute that thing is you're asking of God. If God knows that it's going to serve his purpose, he will give it to you. It might be a job, it might be a business, it might be whatever, how small or great it is. The easiest way to have it given to you or the easiest way to have that blessing come is by, you know, conditioning your mind to know that it is the blessing of the Lord and it is for the purpose of God. It is a, the blessing of the Lord and it is for the purpose of God. You are a part of a big picture and God will bless you just so that picture can come to life. God will not waste his blessings. He will not give it to someone who cannot do anything with it. He will not give it to someone who wants to be selfish, who wants to, you know, show up. No, God will give it to someone who is purpose-oriented. Yes, someone who is driven and who is trustworthy with that thing. My father always asks the question, can God trust that if he blesses you with what you are asking him for, you are going to use it for his glory? Can God trust you on that? Can God trust that if he gives you that thing you so badly need, you are going to use it for his glory? If the answer is no, then you might want to go back and reconsider. You might want to go back and re, you know, re-strategize or realign yourself. That's what I was looking for. You might want to go back and, re and realign yourself. And I tell you the truth. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added. When you realign yourself and you are seeking first the kingdom and everything you tell yourself, if God gives me this thing, it is for the kingdom. Those things will start coming after you because you have aligned. God knows that it's going to serve his agenda. And that is what God is all about. He's about serving. He's about making the kingdom of God to come right here on earth. Making you to be a legislator through that thing which he has used to bless you. And so if your mind was not aright, this word is coming to you right now. To set your mind right. To set your mind right so that the blessing can come. Remember, he says that, uh, uh, Mordecai says, liberation will surely come. That thing which God wants to bless you to do will still happen with or without you. But it were better it happened with you. He said that God will raise someone else, but you are going to perish. You and your family will perish. God will raise someone else. It is my prayer that God will not remove you from the picture of his blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. That you are going to be valuable even as God is blessing you with that thing your, your heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Amen. God bless you. Keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Perfect.